Hello everyone. I hope you're doing well this evening. I'm going to do a quick check in. Energies. Spirit, what is it that the collective needs to know at this time? We've got judgment reversed. So, self doubt, lack of uh, self awareness, inner critic self-loathing, punishment, destruction, and ignoring the call. So punishment and destruction. And their challenge is Ten of Cups. So they're challenged by divine love and blissful relationships. They require people to be in chaotic states. And so people, when they're in harmony, when they're in love, when they're in divine love and harmony, this is ruining their intentions of bringing about punishment and destruction. <clears throat> and in the subconscious, they've got the two of cups. So, yeah, unified love, partnership, mutual attraction, proposal, marriage, and connection. They are pissed about this stuff. It's really, it's really messing with them. They want to bring about punishment and destruction, and they are challenged by divine union and unified love. Mm. So, of course, we're going to have all these damn wars right now. They need people to suffer. In the recent past, we got Queen of Wands on the upright. She's courageous, confident, zest for life, determined, and she's full of joy. And we also have the magician in the reverse, somebody who is a manipulator. They planned poorly. Um, they're a narcissist and they're insecure. They could have butted heads. Or maybe this <clears throat> narcissist is trying to do ma uh, manipulative magic on this queen of wands. His intention and expectation. His intention and expectation is to, is this Queen of Cups reverse. So he wants to create a codependent and insecure situation for this Queen of Wands, who could also be a Queen of Cups. He wants to flip her upside down. He wants to completely um, take her out. He, he wants her, he does not want her in this position or creating this in the near future in the near future we've got the double reversed and we have the emperor so it looks like the emperor is the emperor is here He's a respectful leader. He's stable. He's secure. He um, has, he's, he's controls this structure and there's rules and, and, uh, you know, he's a father figure. He me meters out discipline. And we've got this person here, the devil reverse, who is experiencing some resentment. They have a lack of will. It could be that they're exploring dark thoughts. The emperor is here with this um, discipline. Or
I'll leave it at that for now. <clears throat> the lens they're looking through is the Four of Pentacles upright. So they're um, in, in conservation mode. There could be um, somebody's living in scarcity. In the environment. <clears throat> we have Knight of Cups in the upright. So we have somebody who's romantic and charming um, coming forward with a proposal of some sort. Knight in shining armor. We have in the hopes and fears. <clears throat> we've got um, so we've got nostalgia. We've got that which is familiar, happy memories, and somebody is doing some soul searching, introspection. Focusing on their inner guidance. And the outcome? The outcome. We've got temperance in the upright. So we've got balance and harmony. Patience, being sensible. And we also have the High Priestess in the upright. So a very intuitive and sacred um, divine feminine. She's got very high morals. And we have the Lovers in the upright. So there, it looks like, it looks like love, harmony, and union, this Deep love is here on the on the uh, out on the outgoing energy, which is permeating the entire read. So this person who wants to bring about punishment and destruction, or these people or whoever, they're challenged by divine love, unifying love. But love and harmony in all of this is on the out on the outgoing energy as well. So it doesn't look like they're able to um, overcome this. They're, they're bringing this devilish energy, but it looks like the emperor is knocking it right out of them. There's detachment. Rest of, a, a restoring of control. Yeah, the emperor is here, restoring control. <clears throat> He's like, you locos, what are you doing coming up against unified love, divine love, harmony? Harmony, yeah, the emperor is not going to let that. <laughs> He's the boss. Alrighty then, so in the central energy, we've got somebody, it looks like, who wants to bring punishment and destruction and self-loathing. To someone else. He's challenged by divine love and harmony, blissful relationships, and alignment <clears throat> of a fire sign, arrows, Leo, Sagittarius. In the subconscious, he's thinking about unified love, partnership, 
proposals and marriage connections. And someone is unavailable, a waste of time is over. So it looks like he can't, this person, they can't mess with this, this union. They want to. They really want to. They want to cause problems for this Queen of Wands, who's, who's a very determined and joyful woman, very courageous and focused has a zest for life and then she's independent yeah and he wanted to come up he did some manipulation he the magician in the reverse <clears throat> so he did something shady could have been magic to try to manipulate this queen of wands he wanted to flip her He wanted to flip or and he figured if he um if he has patience that what he did will work he wants to flip her into the queen of cups he wants to get her into her feelings into her emotions and he wants her um codependent and insecure he wants her all up in her feelings all up in her upside down feelings They might be at a distance. But in the near future, we have the emperor here, a very respectful father figure type, and he is um, restoring control in this situation. He could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And the lens they're looking through is scarcity. So they're looking at scarcity. They're looking at a life of frugality, you know. It could be that they're going to have to tighten their, their purse strings and save their money. They're, they might need to learn how to open up their heart in order to attract more love and um, their, pay attention to their intuition. The red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later. So, hmm. and in the environment, we've got a Knight of Cups, Prince Charming coming forward with a proposal. Ah. It could be that he's been bewitched or he's coming forward to try and bewitch someone. And it could be it could be um, that it backfires. Because someone's got a guardian. And there is somebody traveling down memory lane. They're seeking truth. They're searching their soul. They're looking for inner guidance. They don't want a divorce or they don't want things to change. They're experiencing a breakup. So they're experiencing nostalgia, you know, familiarity, happy memories. And they're really shining a light on all of this. And they're contemplating everything right now. They don't want to separate from whatever it is that they have had the privilege of experiencing. <clears throat> And in the outcome, we have balance and harmony, moderation, being sensible, 
finding meaning uh, and the high priestess is here with the temperance so balance is restored high priestess she's got high morals and she's pure she's a divine feminine she's a divine feminine who could be restoring balance and health Yeah, here in the here in the um, near future, this air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, it could be this emperor, or it could also be this person here that um, he's he's um, coming forward to re restore control with, like this person that the emperor is having to um, I guess. take responsibility for could also be an air sign. This person could be an air sign. This one wanting to cause um, punishment and destruction for love and relationships for this queen of wands and turn her into this sobbing, you know, messed up, insecure queen of cups in the reverse. Huh. So we don't really know who, which one is that. So... Right, so they want to cause punishment and destruction for someone else. Or it could be that there's someone else present here who is sabotaging their efforts. Maybe they are sabotaging their own efforts because they're, um, they like to play the field, you know. They have multiple partners. And maybe somebody's jealous and pissed off. Uh, they're not going to get sudden wealth. They're trying to stop sudden wealth for these divine unions. <clears throat> and here, he's that this person is challenged by divine love, harmony, blissful relationships, alignment, inner happiness, fulfillment. This this is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and it's um, he's he's the uh, the main male. So whoever this person is, they're challenged by this main male who's a fire sign, and he's all about divine love. And alignment so in the subconscious we do have unified love partnerships and proposals they have to move on because someone is unavailable it's a waste of time it's over <clears throat> they don't want to be under adjudication for what they've done they don't want to be seen as a false person. They are an immature woman. And they're not going to get great fortune. They're under adjudication for coming against this unified love for these proposals, for these uh, upcoming divine kingdom marriages. So in the recent past, um, there is this magician in the reverse who tried to did, do some manipulation for this queen of wands. He did something and he's trying to be patient right now. He's trying to stop a courtship for her. He wants her in a puddle of tears, you know, a big mess.
but um so the distant horizons is like a wish fulfillment but it's in the reverse so um yeah it doesn't he's not able to make that happen like this queen of cups she's she's this queen of wands she's determined she's got a zest for life she's focused she's confident she's courageous she knows how to balance herself she's not a a newbie she has been through some challenges and she has she can she can hold herself together pretty well and this guy came in with magic to try to um crush her confidence and make her insecure the emperor is here and he is um restoring control in this situation either this this person that is attacking this queen or the emperor is an air sign gemini libra aquarius and they don't get the gift the emperor is here he's he's restoring control and the gift which is this beautiful union um you know that this this person is trying to destroy um they don't they can't they can't destroy the gift they have a lack of will their will isn't strong enough So if somebody's going to be saving money, they're going to have to learn how to open up their heart, and they're going to have to learn how to man, uh, how to tune into their intuition. They're an immature masculine. It could be that you know they they have some lessons to learn now. They have to learn scarcity. They have to learn you know control. They have to learn how to trust their intuition, how to, how to see the red flags, how to open their heart. You know, even when they've been hurt, they have to keep their heart open. You know, it's, it's a lesson. So we got Knight of Cups, romantic, charming, coming in with the proposal. There's a love spell here. Uh, it's not working. We got occupation upside down. So the love spell isn't working. It could be that it, it went back that it was um, returned to sender because there's a guardian, you know, a lost loved one watches over you. Somebody's uh, um, experiencing nostalgia. They're shining a light on their history. They don't want a divorce. They don't want something to end for them. They don't want life as they know it to end. They can't stop thinking about a particular feminine. They don't want a divorce. But um, there's, we've got temperance and the high priestess here and the upright. So balance and harmony and um, sensibility and purity and high morals and sacred knowledge and the divine feminine, you know, and health and all of this is... coming up in the um, outcome and we have somebody who is not a wealthy man also here and I guess this this person who's not a wealthy man he could actually maybe this help card is is for him it says health issues could arise so maybe you know when temp when balance and harmony is restored by this high priestess you know perhaps this wealthy man is going to be suffering some health issues Maybe um, he is being ousted from this community. Like they don't, this, this, they don't want anything to do with them anymore.
So we have somebody here who wanted to bring punishment and destruction um, to these kingdom marriage contracts. And he was doing it with somebody else. So there's a third party here. But they might have been upset about the third party situation. Because they may um, have sabotaged the efforts here for this one. Like maybe they're tired of being a being used somebody um, somebody is seeking forgiveness they're challenged by this main male who is a fire sign and who represents divine love and harmony Um, they don't consider themselves friends. They're not friends. <laughs> They're not friends. So in the back, in their mind, in their subconscious, they're challenged. You know, they, they can't stop thinking about this, these divine connections, these proposals, these marriages. He has to move on. Um, it could be that he's working with a, um, an immature, false person who is a feminine here. He doesn't want to be under adjudication. Um, they weren't able to, to get this great fortune. They weren't able to get this sudden wealth. The um, the kingdom marriages they weren't able to um, they weren't able to stop these contracts. They're in regret because they know they can't change they can't change the outcome. But they they're in regret. They think that they'll be able to change the outcome, but. Because this card, it says, regret, I know that I cannot change the past. But it came out in reverse, which says that they still believe they can change things. So they're, they're going after this Queen of Wands with this um, manipulation to try to stop her courtship. They want to stop her happiness. They want to interrupt her happiness. Or maybe she is happy and they are really pissed off about that and they want to stop her abundance. So they want to stop her courtship. They want to stop her abundance. They want her isolated and lonely. They want her crying in, in her cup, but her cup is all spilled. So they want her cupless. They're at a distance. They're working at a distance, but they're not getting the wish fulfillment card. So... It's, it doesn't look like they're going to be successful um, with that. So they wanted to cause fear for this woman around relationships. They didn't want her to enter any relationships because of fear. They wanted her paranoid that the person that's coming into her life, her divine counterpart, it, um, they want her to be paranoid that He's a manipulative, you know, um, punisher, dominator. They're trying to, they're trying to put this fear in her and doubt in her mind regarding relationships. And they think if they do that, that they can change this outcome. They can change this unified love that if she is afraid of having relationships that she won't she won't get herself involved with her divine counterpart. She will just be too afraid. She'll just say, no, I'm not ready. I'm not going to go there. That's what they're hoping. That's what, that's what they're working for is manipulating her mind so that she refuses to go forward into the kingdom marriage. We have the emperor here, though, who is a father figure. 
and um, he is restoring control. These ones, they can't, they can't steal the gift. They can't steal this divine um, partnership from this Queen of Wands. We got imagination in the reverse. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So these guys, they don't have any imagination. They don't have the ability to um, visualize what it is they want. They're having difficulties manifesting their desires. They're not able to get this gift. The emperor is here to make sure that they're not they're not going to succeed in this business. The emperor is like God, and he's like, you are not going to mess with these kingdom marriages. We've got unified love. We've got divine harmony. We've got a zest for life. We've got, um, where was that other one? Lots of love, lots of love, yeah. So anyway, somebody's going to have to be saving money and getting used to scarcity, you know, and, and learning how to live um, frugally. They're going to have to learn self-control. They're going to have to learn how to open their heart so that they can receive love. And they're going to have to um, utilize their intuition. They're an immature masculine. I am thankful for this life and the things that it gives me. So yeah, they're they're um, they're opening their heart. They're practicing gratitude. So this immature masculine. So he could be a younger male. This Knight of Cups here is Prince Charming wanting to come forward with proposals. He's trying to cast a love spell, but it's not working on this feminine. It got um, returned to sender by her guardian by this love loved one who's watching over her so this love spell by this knight of cups doesn't work i can release my need to control but it came out in the reverse so this this person they they really want to be able to control this feminine because they want growth they want to they want the growth that she is going to provide they want to insert themselves between her and the main male here who's a fire sign who's all about divine love and harmony the emperor is not having it so we've got nostalgia soul searching we've got somebody not wanting a divorce they can't get this feminine out of their mind they're not willing to accept that um, they don't get this contract. This person could have been a karmic masculine who was ma who was married to this feminine in the in a past cycle, but it could be that she learned her lesson and she moved beyond that and she's advancing. And this one is doing everything that he can to bring punishment and destruction and to just totally ruin her mindset so that she misses out on this opportunity to have a beautiful, harmonious, divine love in this next cycle. She's earned it. And he's trying to do magic to mess up her head because he doesn't want her to leave. He can't accept the fact that he's losing her. So um, temperance and the high priestess, they are very successful. There is no greater goal than to love. This, uh, there's a masculine here who could very well be um, this, this masculine who can't get this queen out of his mind. He's trying to cause her inner destruction. He, he's not a wealthy man. It could be that he's lost all his wealth. Like there's no sudden wealth, there's no great fortune, he's not a wealthy man, and he's suffering um, health issues. I don't know if he's accepting his responsibility for his own issues, or if he is... Um,
casting blame on somebody else. So he, we've got a masculine here who's seeking forgiveness because he wanted to bring punishment and destruction to this Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. Um, he wanted to interrupt her divine union, her, her kingdom marriage with this fire sign main male. He didn't want her to get this sudden wealth, you know, this beautiful relationship of full of love and abundance. Broken. They didn't keep the promises they made. They may break your heart, but not your spirit. So, yeah, this could be def definitely somebody from a, a previous cycle, like a spiritual partner or something. Maybe you weren't even aware of it. Like maybe in the previous cycle, this person scammed your contract and then spent all these years sucking the life out of you and you didn't even know why your life was so shitty but it was because he was behind the scenes sucking the life out of you living high on the hog because he had he was living on your energy sharing it with this immature false person and now he feels broken distant so far away physically and emotionally see if you yeah he you're distant you're unavailable. He has to move on. Long road. You have a long way to go before you find what you want, but the journey helps you grow. And <clears throat> this to me sa says you've been on a long road. This has been a long journey. This main male has been on this path. This has been some time. Like there's a whole cycle here. This is the end. This is a close out of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle, which is full of kingdom marriages, divine love and harmony, unified love, partnership, mutual attraction, you know, and then um, it was over here again. Moderation, balance. Yeah, they have to move on. Crazy drama. All they wanted to bring was crazy drama. And they didn't. They just wanted to steal this woman's peace. But she's over here. She's happy. She's courageous. She's independent. She's focused. And she's very determined to remain in joy. And they came with the magician in the reverse. They wanted to manipulate. They wanted to um, get a blow to her confidence to tap into and to stop this abundance and this courtship that's coming in for her. They're guilty. They're guilty about lying and cheating and stealing. They wanted um, her in, to be insecure. They wanted her to be in fear regarding relationships. They didn't want her to enter a relationship. They want her in fear. And they didn't want her wish fulfillment um, to come true on this, um, on the distant horizons. Flighty, not knowing what they're going to do next causes anxiety. Yeah, they wanted her to be in anxiety. But the emperor is here. These ones who are coming against these divine unions, they do not have 
the, the um, ability to manifest this. The emperor is putting a stop to it. He's restoring control. They don't get the gift. They don't get to take the gift. They're grieving because it didn't work out the way that they had imagined. They have to feel the loss. And then over here, they have to learn how to rebuild their dreams. <clears throat> they have to save their money. They have to live frugally and in, in scarcity. <clears throat> they have to learn how to love. They have to learn how to be grateful. They have to learn how to trust their intuition. They're immature and they're childish. They're very childish. <clears throat> So we've got a Prince Charming um, coming in, Knight of Cups. He want, He's casting a love spell on this feminine, but it's not working. It got returned to sender um, by the Guardian. And this person, he doesn't want to surrender his need to control her. He wants to grow. He wants to experience growth. He wants a conquest. He wants to conquer her. He wants to conquer her. So we got nostalgia, somebody shining a light on their memories. They don't want a divorce. They can't accept the fact that they don't they don't get this contract. They can't stop thinking about this woman. Games, playing at love, but not serious about keeping it. Yeah, he played with her. In the last cycle, when he was having this, this, he was probably a spiritual partner or husband or whatever. And he was just playing with her energy. He didn't give two shits about her. She probably never met him in the physical. He was playing games. So balance and harmony is being restored. We got the high priestess here and we got success. There's no greater goal than to love and to be loved. And someone wants out, but they aren't making a move yet. Be prepared for sudden changes. And that could be this, this man here who's no longer a wealthy man. He's suffering health issues. He wants, he's, he's thinking about an exit plan. Oh, and then we got leaving, but it's it's in reverse. And it says, you've taken it as far as you can go this time around. Walking away is the best you can do. So it could be that they're not able to leave. They, they're, they're looking, they're trying to create an exit plan, but we got leaving and it's in the reverse. They're not able to leave. And we've got lost. They feel like they've been abandoned. I hope this helps. I'll see you on the next one.